Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a quick little unboxing for you guys. I mentioned this in my house moving castle when I showed you guys the calcifer card holder that I got that I did buy something else on the same day. So I guess this is kind of like clickbait a little bit because I didn't buy a bag from the house moving castle collection. It's just the day that I bought this bag, it was the day after the official like in-store shopping launch. So they still had a bunch of the packaging left, like tons. I feel like they don't even have that much packaging left anymore so i was able to get a bag my essay was super kind he let me pick between this one or the one with how sleeping and sophie's like older that one was actually really pretty it was like green and stuff like that but anyways i thought i'd show you guys what i got what do you guys expect this to be i feel like a lot of you guys expect this to either be a hammock or an amazona i feel like it's top tier but let me show you what i got so I have the ribbon, so I have the receipt. I put all of like the tags and stuff in here. So the inside of the packaging is actually really pretty. If you guys have never seen the inside of the bag, the details of this is just phenomenal. I love it. The fact that even the bottom of the bag has this, I think is so, so cute. Okay, okay, okay. Let me show you guys what I got. <laughs> okay. I think this is my first normal size bag from Lueve. The only other Lueve bag I have is the mini puzzle bag. And I know a lot of you guys are telling me to get the mini hammock, but the compact hammock is what's on my eyeballs. Oh, so this is the tissue, if you guys want to see. So he gave me the House Moving Castle shopping bag, and then he also wrapped it in tissue, which I thought was so nice of him. Can you guys guess what it is? Mm. Okay. Also guys, if you've never noticed, uh, Lueve like dust bags just have the little tag on the side, which is cute. Same thing with their card holders. Their dust bags just have the little tag on the side. Okay. I wasn't joking when I told you guys that this is gonna be my Lueve year. So, are you guys ready? Oh, it smells so nice. Like the smell of the leather, you can smell it through the bag. Okay. So I got the rosemary flamenco bag. Oh, you guys see this? Like it has the little emblem right here and then it has the little knots. So this is the original size. So I guess technically the, I think this is the original because there's like the medium, the small, then they have, no, 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 they have the mini, the small, and then they have, I think large and then like extra large, something like that. But this is just the original size. It literally smells so nice. Like it smells like I'm inside like a furniture store. Okay, so the inside has just like the care cards right here. And then so the inside is like suede lining. And then it does have the Lueve thing right here. So it's a magnetic closure as you guys can see like this. So let me put on the strap for you guys really quick. And then it does have the tag right over here. So... Yes, I'm gonna rip that off after. Let me just put this on really quick. Hold on. And then the strap is adjustable as well. See, to unbutton these, it's actually a lot easier than, like, for example, the Celine vertical cabosto is a pain to take off, to be honest. The leather is so soft. Like, it's so soft. And it smells so good. <laughs> Okay, so I have it pretty low right here, maybe about like right under my rib cage. So I actually might make it a little bit shorter, but this is the rosemary color. So I don't have my ring light out and it is a little bit cloudy today. So I don't know if this is showing true to color. I didn't want to use my ring light, but I feel like this is pretty true to color. It's a very muted green. So I was inspired to get this color because I saw Patricia Bright style this in one of her videos. I'm going to see if I can find the clip right over here just to show you guys. It's a really quick clip and I just thought it looked so good on her and I could not stop thinking about it. So the rosemary green is different than their normal avocado green. Uh, the rosemary one to me is just like a little like slightly brighter whereas the avocado green is a little bit more muted but they are very very similar. 
So with the flamenco, you can wear it a couple different ways. So you can wear it obviously as a shoulder bag like this. So it becomes kind of like a little tote, which is really, really nice. I know some people say that they don't like how thin the strap is. I read in like some Reddit forums, but I actually loved how thin the strap is. Like that's really what sold me. And I know I eventually want to get like an extra large size for traveling. And that one does have the thicker straps that are not removable. But I really, I love the thicker straps too. So I definitely want to add. I'm usually not like i don't really like to get the same bag in different colors but the flamenco i think the two bags that do that for me is the speedy or just like that boston bag shape style because i do want to get that in like different sizes and different colors and then also the flamenco for sure like i don't know it's so funny because when i first saw the flamenco I, I thought it was honestly just whatever like i didn't think it was ugly but i didn't think it was interesting either it was just like Oh, there's a little pouch bag and then it wasn't until I actually tried it on and then so many of you guys just like reinforced my love for this bag and you all say how much you love it how you, I think the most popular one is definitely the mini size of this one you guys like officially converted me and then when I tried it on oh my gosh it just looked so good like it looks so good on my body shape it's like dangerous to try stuff on because then you realize how much you love it and i oh, i didn't want to love it as much but it's so so cute so retail price is 25.50 so that's not counting tax anyways i'm getting distracted so you can wear it over the shoulder you can also for example take off the strap just pretend I took it off. I don't really want to take it off. And then you could also wear it like a clutch, which is super, super cute, really comfortable. It's so soft and squidgy, like it's so soft. And then my essay's favorite way to wear it is actually, so I used to think that you like pull the knots like this, right? You can either do it like this and kind of hold these little things, but he says the proper way to actually do this is, so you actually pull the inside loop. Do you guys see how there's this big one and then there's this little loop right here? So you actually pull the little loops like this is the proper way to do it to make it into that little pouch so then the little nuggets are sticking out right here and then you hold it like this so i guess either or you can do it but he says like the proper way is to hold it like this so then it looks like that but you can hold it as like a little wristlet if you wanted to i mean it is really comfortable because it's Lueve leather so obviously it's super super soft but yes so this is my first like Lueve full size bag i guess you can say the addiction is still there i feel like a lot of you guys are probably sick of me talking about Lueve it's like every other video is about Lueve but i can't help it i love it this is going to be my Lueve era um yes i did recently see uh, unfortunately that they did have this color come out in ghost which is ve like a very very soft muted gray i saw it the week after i bought this and i was like should i exchange this because the wave actually has a pretty good exchange policy i don't know if it's return or exchange because i've never returned anything but i do know you have 30 days to exchange it so i debated on it like should i exchange this one for the gray one but then i decided that i think if i were to get an amazona or a hammock i definitely am interested in getting that in gray so i decided to keep this one in green and then the amazona i think either the gray or the oblique but leaning towards like a solid color color to get it with leather but yeah so this is the rosemary color does any of you guys like have this bag have this color do you guys like the avocado green more or the rosemary color i think in general i'm gonna wear this with the strap i think that's my favorite way to wear it and then sometimes you can like tighten it a little bit more and then still wear it with the strap which i think is just so cute like look at that oh my god it looks so good it looks so cute i feel like this is definitely kind of like wine whereas the flamenco is very acquired and i officially acquired it because again like i said i honestly didn't really care about this bag at all like four years ago i would see this little pouch the mini one at nordstrom and i'm just like oh that's nice i guess and i would touch it and i'm like oh that's nice but they actually didn't have as many colors as they do now they have this new beige one too that i've mentioned before that's really really nice as well oh it's so nice it's so nice and i finally have like a big green bag because you guys know i have the mini cassette in the parakeet green and it's like a very vibrant green and you guys know my love for green but i can't really wear it that much just because it's so small and i do carry quite a bit now and then also so there are no like pockets or zippers it's literally just like a little leather pouch it smells so good it smells amazing oh my gosh i think this smells better than my mini 16 bag 
Like the leather on this like smells super super nice. I think my only fear I would say is just because of this. I'm not gonna be squeezing it that frequently but like this little bit right over here it just makes me nervous because a lot of people complain with the chanel 22 bag that the pulling and going back and forth pulling like leads to cracking but i also feel like the chanel 22 like the texture of that leather actually looks more i guess like shiny i feel like i mean i don't know if there's glazing on it but you know how the chanel 22 it looks like there's kind of like a, let's just call it like a glaze over it whereas this is just leather like i'm sure they're both treated somewhat but whereas this one i feel like can handle the stretching and being pulled and tussling and yeah i mean i feel like if that was such a big issue i don't think this bag would be as popular because if, if anything i feel like this adds more crinkling than the chanel 22 would be so i think this would be fine if any of you guys own the flamenco let me know how yours has been wearing i think if anything this i'm so curious to see how this wears i love it i love it i love it i love it did you guys expect me to get this <sighs> If you guys haven't seen my shopping vlog where I tried this on, I'm going to link it down below. And it looked so cute. So cute. And if you guys are thinking of getting the Flamenco, can somebody get it in Ghost? I really want them to come out with an Amazona in the Ghost color. That would be phenomenal. But yeah, I think this is going to be one of my new everyday bags for sure. I've actually been using my Celine Boston bag a lot. Oh, do you want to compare sizes? Should we compare sizes? Okay. Okay, so this is the Celine Boston bag. You guys know that this is pretty large and in charge. And then this is the flamenco. Obviously the depth, but if you guys want to see like... I feel like this comparison is pointless. <laughs> but here we are. And that's about it. I mean, this bag is discontinued, but I do know a lot of you guys do have this as well. So yeah, I feel like this is such a great travel bag too. Because of the magnetic closure and you can squidge it. But also because the branding on this is so minimal like this is an if you know you know for sure i feel i'm so happy the next bag i definitely am looking into from lueve is either a compact hammock or an amazona for sure Alrighty, guys we have come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching were you guys surprised you guys thought i was gonna unveil a hammock i feel like that was like the number one thing that so many of you guys know but it's just because i'm just looking for the right hammock because i don't think i'm gonna have multiple hammocks i don't know about having multiple puzzle bags but i definitely feel like i'm gonna have multiple flamencos like for sure at least two so this is my first one i might even uh get like two in this size because i love this size so much like if they come out with a really nice shade and then i know i eventually want to get an extra large so in the future like five years down the line i might have like three flamenco bags and i'm not ashamed please if you guys haven't tried this bag on in person go 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 like it's so cute it's definitely one of those bags that look weird and unnecessary just kind of boring when you see it on online pictures you're like it's basically like a pouch bucket bag style and then you try it on and then you're like oh Oh, now I get it. It's adorable, but yes. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!